Well, ladies and gentlemen, here I am to talk about the planet Saturn. You know, Saturn is changing its zodiac sign in the month of January 2023, to be precise on the 17th of January 2023. And Saturn at this point in time will be in its Mutrikon sign. It will be in a very comfortable position. It will be in its own sign at this juncture. So Saturn at this point in time will emit its positive energies on this planet Earth. And every planet which changes its zodiac sign produces some change. You know, everything must change. Nothing remains the same. So at this juncture, a change is gonna come. And let me tell you, for things to change for you, you need to change. I repeat, for things to change for you, you need to change. You know, since human beings inhabited this planet Earth, the trajectory of the Earth has been, it has provided us opportunities mixed with difficulties. The planet Earth has always given us opportunities mixed with difficulties. And that is not gonna change. You will get opportunities and at the same time, you will face difficulties in your life. You will face obstacles in your life. You will face barriers in your life. You will face hurdles in your life. And in the midst of that opportunity, you will find all these difficulties. So there is nothing new about what I am telling you. I am just telling you that you will always have problems when you have opportunities. The challenge is that you have to overcome your obstacles, hurdles and barriers. If you want that opportunity of yours to give you positive results. Well, the seasons aren't gonna change. The climate is not gonna change. The weather is not gonna change. It's gonna remain the same as it is. The company where you are working, that will not change. Your circumstances will not change. So the question is, when will your life change? My answer to that question would be, when you change. So when you change, things will change for you. That means you are the most important person on this planet Earth for you. Nobody is gonna come in and do it for you. So in order to change, I mean change your life for the better, you need to change. You need to change your psyche. I mean your mind and soul. There should be a complete transformation in your life if you want things to get from worse to better. Well, I'd say that don't change that marketing plan. Don't change that marketplace. Don't change the economy. Don't wish the government changes. Don't change the countries for a better income. All you need to do is to change yourself. So this is what you have to do at this point in time, at this juncture, when Saturn goes into the Aquarius sign. You've got to go within and introspect where things are going wrong for you. You need to go inside yourself and check what are the mistakes you are making. And it's very simple. The mistakes, the habits, the behaviors, the choices which you have been making, you have to change those choices, those behaviors, those habits for your life to change. I mean, for your life to get better. And as you change these things which I have just spoken about, things will start to change for you. So this is a simple formula for success when Saturn enters the Aquarius sign. You know, Saturn is all about discipline, hard work, perseverance. It's about religion. It is about your religious ideas. It is about your concept about God. It is about God itself. Saturn is all about your work, your career, your job, your business, your profession. This particular Saturn is the planet which provides us opportunities mixed with difficulties. You know, this planet Saturn gives us struggles and without any struggle, there is no life. You know, struggles makes us stronger. You know, a caterpillar cannot become a butterfly and start flying 
without going into that cocoon and struggling in that cocoon. So if you want something beautiful in your life, don't avoid the struggle. Don't ignore the struggle. You know, an airplane can't fly without the resistance of air. You can't fix lemonade with sugar alone. You need to add sour lemons to it. If you want a tasty lemonade, you need to add struggles to your life. You can't learn good horsemanship by riding a tamed horse. Gold can never become that beautiful jewelry without going through heat. So you see, everything which becomes beautiful ultimately goes through struggles. So this Saturn will give you an opportunity to struggle. It will give you opportunities as well as opportunities to struggle. So indeed, this is gonna be a positive time for you. You know, I was just talking about perseverance. I was just telling you all that Saturn represents perseverance. My definition of perseverance is the hard work you do. After you have done the hard work, you have already done. For example, if you work hard in the day, I mean during the day, and you come home at night and you start working hard once again to earn some extra money or to develop your skills, your talents, your abilities in the night or in the evening, that is called perseverance. Perseverance is when you keep going in spite of those difficulties, those problems, those predicaments and ordeals of your life. When you become a no matter what person, when you persevere, you have a mindset that you are gonna make things happen for you. Perseverance is the things which you do with all your might, with all your energy, with all your passion. You work as if your life depends upon your work. And during this time, pray as if everything depends upon God and work as if everything depends upon you. You know, without the touch of God, nothing is possible. So at this point in time, your faith, your belief and your work should go hand in hand. As I just told you that pray as if everything depends upon God and work as if everything depends upon you. And the other thing is that prayer without action is simply wishing. You know, if you only pray to God and you don't act, if you pray to God and watch television the entire day and you expect money to come to you easily, then you are sadly mistaken. You will have to get up off that couch and start working. You know, God helps those who help themselves. So your idea about life should be that you have to work. Work as if everything depends upon you and pray as if everything depends upon God. So this concoction of praying and working is important at this point in time when Saturn will be in the Aquarius sign. You know, do things with all your might at this juncture when Saturn is in the Aquarius sign. You know, the planet Saturn also represents poor people, the blind people, the old people, the elderly people. So at this juncture, you must make a conscious decision to help the poor and needy. You know, no one has ever become poor by giving. If you give something from your wealth, if you give something from your income to the poor and needy at this juncture, God will bless you. The planet Saturn will bless you. You know, all these planets which are in the universe are made by God. You know, just like we automate our offices, we automate our factories. I mean, we computerize our offices and we install automatic machines in our factory to expedite our work, to produce a product, to complete our work. Similarly, God has made these planets to control us. I mean, to control the human beings on this planet Earth, to control everything on this planet Earth. God himself will never come and do these things. If human beings can automate their office, automate their factories to control their businesses and their factories, 
then don't you think so that almighty god that omnipresent god that omnipotent god that all powerful god will not automate this planet earth and hence he has installed these planets in the universe to control us to control the planet earth well saturn is a very slow planet so things will happen very slowly at this point in time and the most important thing for you is to try at this point in time you know life is worthwhile only if you try you've got to try something with what you know you will only come to know whether you can win that game or not when you try when you play that game whether you'll be a winner or a loser it all depends when you try If you sit on the sideline and you say that you want to win a game that will never happen you'll have to go on to that field and play you will have to try before you know whether you will win or not you know trying is very important in life trying is the stepping stone towards success so things will only happen for you if you try you know when you try you may fail You know when a child learns to walk he or she falls down several times but his parents don't stop him or her from trying to walk so when you try you will fail also this is the process of life this is how you learn to walk so failing and falling is a criteria for you to learn something you learn something only when you fail So don't be afraid to fail at this point in time. You know, I just told you that the parents don't tell their child stop trying to walk because they fall down while trying to walk. They encourage the child to keep trying, to keep trying to walk until he or she learns to walk. Similarly, you have to tell yourself at this point in time that you have to try and even if you fail at this juncture, no problem they, that is the process for you that is the process for you to see success to learn something new at this point in time well we all have dreams and this particular saturn in the aquarius sign will magnify our dreams amplify our dreams at this point in time you know dreams without goals are just dreams so you must have goals at this point in time you must set deadlines for yourself at this point in time you must tell yourself that i will be completing this particular task before that month ends so you need to set deadlines for yourself and if you don't set goals for your dreams they will fuel disappointment in your life and to reach your goals you need to be disciplined you need to apply discipline in your life and along with discipline you need consistency because without commitment you will never start and without consistency you will never finish you know this planet saturn is a karmic planet and at this point in time you need to watch your karmas at this point in time you need to watch your actions at this point in time don't hurt anyone at this point in time try to be righteous at this point in time try to stay morally correct at this point in time try to speak the truth at this point in time because what you sow so shall you reap whatever you do in this world there is a result for it there is a consequence for it so if you do good you will get good if you do bad you will get bad so watch your karmas at this point in time be conscious about what you are doing with others at this point in time try to be as honest as possible at this point in time try to be righteous try to be honest when others are not seeing you because these karmas are your karmas your actions and you will have to bear the brunt if you do wrong with someone well this is all i wanted to tell you all about the planet saturn in the aquarius sign and if you want some specific predictions about yourself then you may contact me directly well like i always say that if you wish to know your future through astrology and you are determined to live the best possible version of yourself well one must always try to live his or her best version of themselves because 
There is only one life to live. There are no duplicates of a life. You will not get a chance to live this beautiful life once again. And if you want to enhance your luck in your life, if you want to boost your luck in your life, if you want to increase and improve your luck in your life, then I want to tell you all, I have several remedies for you. You know, these remedies which I am talking about are a fusion of astrological remedies, Vastu remedies and religious remedies, which can be utilized by any person of any religion. Because I personally believe that there is only one God in this universe. And if you want me to pray for you, because prayer can move mountains. So if you want me to pray for your health, wealth, success, money, business, career, job, relationships, love relationships, marriage, married life, children, property, education, etc, etc, etc. Then also you may contact me. You may also contact me for a Vastu visit of your flat, office, residence or factory. And if you are hell-bent on taking your life from the ridiculous to the sublime, from the low point to the high point, from nothing to something, then you may contact me over WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number has been given on this video. Have a great day and a great life ahead. God bless you all. Jai Matadi. जय माँ काली